We've been focusing on the bank reconciliation for January. So we're trying to tie out this number, the 88,645.25 to what's on the bank statement, the 61,241.85. Uh, we went through the full process of doing it. We're finally gonna hit the reconciliation button now and see the actual reconciliation report. So let's do it. Let's go to the tab to the left with no further ado do. No more do do here. We're going to do it. So we're going to no further ado. Let's go down to the accounting on the left hand side. And by the way, if you're in the uh, other view, which is the business view, by the way, that is, this isn't the business view. If you were in the other view, this is the other view. It's under bookkeeping and then the reconcile tab. Okay, and then we're gonna just move on with the cash. Resume reconciling, this is what we have. Now, just a quick recap, remember that this is the reconciliation process. If you do this process, you can have more confidence that your financial statements are correct, but this is not actually the reconciliation report. That's what we wanna point out at this point in time. If you were asked for a report by an auditor or a tax preparer or something, they would want then a report not like this page of this process that you did this but by going through this process and doing it even if you don't even look at the report you have you have done a good internal control to the system so quick recap this is the ending balance that came directly from the statement and then this is the clear balance which is the same number the reason it's the same number is because we just checked off everything in our books that's the same as on the statement meaning if it's on the statement it should be in our books somewhere. So the beginning balance, the additions, subtractions, all match out here, 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 and therefore there's no difference. Therefore we're at exactly zero. If this is anything other than zero and you force a reconciliation, you can do so. But even if it's off by like a dollar, you're losing a huge amount of internal control because that dollar difference could be from multiple transactions. So we wanna be aware of that. This this does not mean, of course, that the cleared balance is like now our book balance. The cleared balance is not our book balance because our book balance, as we can see, is still 88,645. It still doesn't tie out to what's on the bank statement. It would not tie out unless we were constructing our books exactly from the bank statement information or the banking information, possibly using bank feeds. Otherwise, we're probably going to have outstanding items, timing differences, and we'll have a reconciling difference as we do here. What is that difference? That difference is the things that we didn't check off. So the things we didn't check off are the reconciling items that will get us from the cleared balance, which matches the bank statement balance to our book balance, which is on the balance sheet. And these items here, we, we wanna know about them and say, are we concerned with them as something that's are not legitimate transactions? If they're entered close to the end of the month and we can we can double check them in February to see if they cleared, if they cleared in February, then I'm not concerned with them so much as being incorrect transactions at that point. They cleared, that's fine. They're just gonna be the reconciling differences. And by tying that out exactly, I can see that all the transactions are more likely to be legitimate given that's that internal control. All right, hit the button, hit the green button. That's what we're here for. We wanna see you hit that green button. Let's do it. Boom, green button. 